Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the video please also click the like button as well. Okay so welcome to Zurich Airport in uh, beautiful Switzerland and unfortunately you can't download this airport from flightsim.to would be good if you could but no you have to head along to Aerosoft website and uh, pay for it if you want this uh, rather detailed airport as part of your scenery. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do today is have a look at a really neat little software add-on called Pushback Helper. All right, now I know there's quite a few Pushback Helpers appearing on FlightSim.to and also uh, there's a Pushback Express, uh, which is paid for software, which I don't personally own. Uh, but yeah, this one here, Pushback Helper, I, I think is really really neat and don't forget that you also have the default pushback services on um, msfs itself but the problem with that one is that it does take a few seconds to relay your information back to the tug for it to carry out your request so you know if you're on that sim then it might be a bit difficult to actually uh, line up your aircraft with the uh, with the taxiway line and uh, request uh, different movements. So, yeah, so this with this one is very different. It's immediate. Once you actually click, click one of these directional controls, then the aircraft does what you ask it to do. All right, so as you can see here, uh, immediately looks uh, really appealing. The uh, GUI, the graphical user interface, is uh, well designed. And uh, yeah, so it's not just pushback, you've got other things that you can see here, such as jetway stairs fuel um, you can open and close the doors all right so all right so what we can do now actually is maybe just demonstrate the first button there of the jetway so we got jetway here and uh, you can see here the beautiful 787 emirates livery looking very nice okay so i chose a large aircraft to demonstrate the pushback facility so jetway click on that and then you can see the jetway is actually uh, moving all right so that will connect and now just moving around to this part here so now you've got the catering services there so we'll click on catering and the catering truck starts moving all right now the door you can actually close the rear door and open it again and the cargo door you can open that and close it and you can see that when it's open or closed then you've got the green highlight highlighted right in there okay so let's go for the luggage cool and the luggage guys are at work all right excellent all right now the other thing that we can do with this is connect let's get ourselves around here we can connect the APU services the electric side of things so we'll click on power and that moves into position all right now what we can do now is actually go inside the aircraft all right so uh, now let's just actually turn on the electrics the battery and we've got external power available so we'll turn that on all right, and then we'll start the APU. And we'll go down here and we'll go to SIS. And we'll click on the stats page. And you can see the APU spalling up there. All right, so the 787 actually hasn't made an appearance on the channel. <laughs> this is the very first a debut appearance of the 787 on Never 101 so welcome 78710 yeah and as you probably guessed this is the heavy division mod all right and looking very good looking forward to seeing more regular uh, updates on this uh, really wonderful aircraft so we got 100 rpm so that's all spooled up all right and we can go ahead and turn off the external power and then we can go ahead and disconnect the APU. Okay, so now the HUD has gone down for some reason. All right. 
So, uh, let's check outside and see if the AP, yep, the APU truck is going. Cool. Okay, so we are completely uh, self-powered now. Alright, so let's see if the guys have finished. Nearly. Right, the catering man is finished. And... Well, we're just waiting for the luggage guy. So, yeah, he's done. So, that door will close on its own. And let's go back inside. The other thing we have to do is disconnect the jetway. So, we'll click on jetway. You see how easier it makes things. There we go. Okay, cool. So, I think... Uh, that is it. Yeah, okay, so all clear. Now, before we push back without engines, so we'll do a push back without engine start. And right, so we want to have a look at the extent of our move. Okay, so we're looking for that central yellow taxiway line. We want to try at least and get the nose wheel on that line. All right, so let's see what we can do. Uh, right, let's go back in. All right, now you notice here that you've got a remote uh, parking brake switch. All right, so you click that and it goes on and off. All right, so we'll put that back on. And now this button here is to call the tug. So we'll click that and you can see there that the tug is moving into place or position. All right. Now, the difference with this as well, uh, other than the, unlike the uh, default MSFS uh, tug services, is that when you click on the tug and it sets itself up, it, it actually stays there. Unlike the default uh, pushback service, it will start pushing you back, as you know, and you'll have to be ready on the parking brake uh, as it will push you back regardless. All right, but this one, it just stays there. So you're in... Uh, full control of what the pushback tug does. Okay, so now that we've uh, got it into position, we can release the parking brake, all right, and we can select reverse. And there we are, the aircraft starts moving. All right, so let's put this up here so we can see what we're doing. Right, now the idea of this, uh, it's, a, it's a really large aircraft, is to... Uh, try and start your turn as soon as you can when it's all clear. So we want to go to the left because the the turning arc on this is quite wide. It's not it's not tight at all. So you can see here with a large aircraft like this, you have to start your turn quite early. Just making sure you have the space uh, either side of the aircraft. All right. So when it's at about thirty degrees to the taxiway line, perhaps we can start going straight. Right. And also you've got to think about uh, just how much space you have behind as well. Okay, so um, I'm pretty much looking at the rear left uh, landing gear. Right, I'm going to turn the angle a bit more. Right, and then go straight. Okay, so the idea is that you won't have to do so much of a turn when the rear wheels uh, get into a more suitable position. Okay, so yeah, we're clear behind, so it's got, it's got no problem there. It's a really large aircraft, this. Pretty much like the 777. Okay, so I'm going to start a slight left turn straight a bit. Left turn now, so we'll see what this does. Straight. Left. You can see there's a little bit of messing about. 
and getting ready to stop straight left and stop okay right <laughs> so yeah a little bit of messing about but you know the uh, nose wheel is on the uh, center taxiway line so I think that's all good all right now uh, if you're on Vatsim or not just Vatsim anywhere really and say for example you get to this position and you are starting the engines and let's say you have a problem one of the engines actually doesn't start I have had that issue so what you need to do is actually go back into the gate so what you can do now is click on forward and you can see the tug starts moving forward bring you back to the gate All right, so this one's not going to be it's not going to be as easy as what we just did so um, to get this back into position is going to be uh, a lot bit more awkward you can see the turning arc is not that good at all so let's see what we can do with this okay perhaps straight for a little bit and it does this bouncing thing <laughs> notice also that you've got the ability to control the speed of the pushback tug so if you just adjust that slider under tug speed then you'll be able to do that so that's quite a handy and neat feature on pushback helper and left Okay, straight a bit. You can right, straight, straight. Alright, I'm not going to mess about with it anymore. I think uh, that. Left a bit and straight. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Bobbing up and down. Maybe it's happy to go home. Doesn't want to fly today. Okay, I think we can we can stop it there. Oops, okay, let's get this camera right. All right, so yeah, so that's back, and then we can uh, disconnect. We can put the parking brake on and disconnect the tug. And another one appears. Oh, look at that. We've got uh, two tugs there uh, competing for uh, services, our services. All right. <laughs> well, there we are. There's the uh, pushback. And the other one says, no, it's not, it doesn't want to fight today. <laughs> right, so... Uh, yeah, there's the pushback helper. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. It's uh, pretty useful, really. Uh, I'm going to be using it uh, quite a lot. And yeah, so just download that from flightsim.to. I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, so uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, once again, if you do like the video, uh, please click on that like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all again in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.